Christ our Prince. I say greatest, greatest, all of me is greatest. To be great, hey, 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 his mercy is over us. All his works shall bring. I say wonderful, wonderful, all his works, all his works shall bring. To give God the glory for all that He's done. Life preserved, grace showered, favor received. One time I took a plane from Calgary coming to Toronto. The pilot said the journey was going to be very rough. Toronto weather too is not nice. Calgary is not nice. But they have given us the go ahead to fly. I have to admit that uh, I didn't have my Bible closer to me. But I had my iPhone that I was able to open the Bible up. I thought that was the end of me. The plane though was flying, was gliding like rough road. And we came to Toronto. When we landed, suddenly the pilot took off again. And you can see that the buildings around the airport, the, the difference between the plane and the building was very, very small. And I think that is how my ministerial journey had endured. From the very beginning to the end. Maybe I was so much fascinated with Apostle Paul's ministry but I didn't know what I was entering into. Loving that man, modeling myself, my ministry after him. It was through this that I actually understood Apostle Paul. So if we stand here today, we want to offer Apostle Amma, we say, avalanche of praise and thanksgiving to our God who called those who are nobodies and qualify the unqualified and equip those who are weak and blesses those who are feeble and strengthen them to do what he wants them to do. I don't think I deserve anything. I don't think I I have anything to prove. Whatever we have heard, it is just the grace of God. Amen. So all glory, all honor, all adoration is given to this great God. Amen. Paul said that this ministry, this ministry, this ministry, this ministry comes from God and forever we shall be very grateful. Today, I am um, filled with all kinds of emotions. Humbled. Filled with joy. I feel like today is a day of my renaissance. Another new birth. Many start, they don't finish. 
All kinds of things. When I'm this year, you go to council meeting, somebody will be almost close and then either death will call or something will happen. So if we stand here together with my wife and my family, we are forever grateful. I want to thank our dear chairman, Apostle Eric Nyameche, for his leadership and for his guidance. You know, when you go and you greet him, it's a very simple person, but serious. Amen. I want to thank him. I want to thank him for supporting the Church of Pentecost here in Canada. I want to thank him. The calling of an apostle comes from God. There are elders who are, are operating in apostolic grace by obeying the voice of God and calling me and Apostle James into the office of apostle. May God bless him. Amen. I thank him for releasing our father, our friend, our brother, I am here to come and officiate this service. Amen. I am humbled. Amen. Amen. I want to thank our IMD. He has become a brother to me. He was just, you know, so easy to approach. Easy to connect. I had said something two weeks ago to somebody. I said, oh, I'm going on pension, not retirement. And three days ago, IMD called me and said that the leadership had sent him here to pension me and retire me. <laughs> I said, oh my God. I thought I was not going to be retired. I was going on pension because of the anointing. But whatever the fierce wind will blow me, I will surrender myself Amen. to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I want to thank uh, all the national heads that I had the opportunity to work under. Apostle Alexa Sebonsu, Apostle Kwesi Akabedu. I just want to say something about Apostle Kwesi Akabedu. He came to my house in Montreal. We didn't have money to take him to a hotel. And the Mama La said, You know, let's clean up the, our bedroom, take everything, make that place nice and let this man of God stay there. And he was so humble. He accepted that. So the apostle who has slept my, in my bedroom. <laughs> and from that time, blessing upon blessing. Amen. When I came to Toronto, I was living in Vaughan. He was living in Brampton. It's just about 25 minutes. He and the wife decided that for two or three days, they will come and stay with us in Vaughan. Morning, prayers, Bible, evening. We didn't go anywhere in our home. And he taught me how to become a pastor. He told me that Alex is not the preaching, it's good, not the jumping jumping is good but relationship 80 percent treat the members as you treat yourself treat the elders with respect amen so papa wherever you are wherever you are i pray for grace i pray for strength for you and i pray for long life same Apostle Mayor. Under him I became the area head. Apostle, wherever you are, 
May God give you the energy and strength. Apostle also under his leadership and his recommendation I became apostle. Apostle also like to uh, plant churches but also not make sure that the churches will try. When I planted a church in Saskatoon and I wanted to take evangelist Ado, I, I call him Papa. I want to take our brother there. But we don't have money. The area doesn't have money. That time he was acting as the national head. He was still the national head in the U.S. He sent me $20,000. And we, we established the church. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Apostle Yadom, I recognize him hard working guy as he goes to Italy may God use him amen, amen. amen. Apostle Ralford brother may God bless you amen, amen. God, may God bless you as you continue to lead this great church of ours amen, amen. and mama Irene I want to also recognize our area secretary, area executive, and also the, all the executive members, the elders, the ministers that we have worked with. May God bless you all. And by extension, when I was thanking the chairman, the International Executive Council, all of them, I say, may God bless them all. Some, people, some ministers came into my life. They are good ministers. Apostle Peter Ayurakwa. Long time, Apostle Peter and Mama Esther have been great men, mentors to us. He told me that in the Church of Pentecost, not everything is taught. Certain things are caught, and I've talked about it to my pastors for a long time. Papa, God bless you for your love and coming to grace this occasion. Prophet Ameni Ampon and Mama, may God bless you all. Apostle Ofuri Yeboa took me as a brother. He would come to my house even when I, went, I go to Ghana. Papa, wherever you are, may God bless bless you. And Apostle Abed Amwa, I also bless him wherever he is. Amen. And I want to thank the past chairman, Apostle Opoku Onyina. Yesterday, I opened up my phone and I received a special message from him. I say, Papa, may God bless you. To the Church of Pentecost, Church of Pentecost, this church, I love this church so much. Hallelujah. It is a good church. It is a beautiful church. The church that had nurtured me from brother to become an apostle, the church that has allowed me to minister to, it is a good church. May God bless every member of this church. May God bless all the ministers, all the elders in the name of Jesus. I also want to take this opportunity to thank, I've already thanked Pastor Champon, I want to thank Pastor Emmanuel Marfo. Where is he? This pastor is wise. Humble. He's almost done with his PhD. He will come to me. He's the only resident pastor for the Scarborough area. Here. All the pastors are in Newfoundland, Windsor, and so everything I have to call him. He will leave everything and come and support me. May God bless you. Amen. There are 
there are fallable mantle and i know that as i go the mantle will fall on some people may god include you hallelujah and i also want to thank all the ministers who are here the ministers that, that came to honor this occasion i've seen prophet burning i've seen other ministers here may god bless you all amen, amen. and all the distinguished guests who have come to grace this occasion may god bless you amen, amen. amen. i want to also recognize the scarborough media team Deacon prince Deacon william lamte uh, the meshach percy uh, the aduchum the aduchum and the wife and i'm stressing it at the aduchum and wife last friday he decided not to go to work but to pick people from airport may god bless you i want to also pay tribute to my grandmother who held my hand and took me to church of pentecost when we were starting with my senior brother you will go to church of Pentecost whether you go to Presby or not. And it has really helped us. Amen. Amen. And my mother and my uncle, Elder L.K. Any, former Church of Pentecost tr trustee, you will not live in Elder Any's house without not going to Church of Pentecost. If you won't go, no lunch, no dinner, no nothing. <laughs> So, Uncle Eni, may God bless you. Yes. Chairman, permit me to recognize some elders. Sometimes when we become, we are elders, we become elders, and then we become pastors, we think the elders are low. They are ministry partners. And I want to encourage the young pastors who are coming never to disrespect the elders. All the church planting that you had, I didn't do it alone. Halifax, uh, that John Amwajechi, and his uh, family, Ajas, uh, that Johnny, and other people. You go to uh, Oakville, uh, that Danaquete, uh, that Joeshen, uh, that Marfo. Go to Saskatoon, uh, that Eric Wabna Asari, uh, that Wood. Go to Regina. Elder Gideon, Ewa, Edri, Elder Bense, and Ewa Bafo, Ledbridge, our national deacon, our national deacon now, Elder Ben Suga. So, all the, Eric Suga, all the church planting that we did, it is these people. I couldn't mention all, but I want to assure you. If there's any crown of rejoicing that me and my wife will receive, may these elders also receive in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want to also thank my, my, my family who are here, my brother. And now, by the grace of God, two years ago, you know, I, I, I had a wedding here. So now, by the grace of God, my family has enlarged by one. And I was by two actually my, my son-in-law and then now i have a, a grandson this is wonderful hallelujah and uh, the grandson is here my my son-in-law and the parents are also here where are they Re the very reverend daniel french and mama josephine amen may god bless you all Amen. All of you here, family members, you have done wonderful work. You know, my, my Akonta brother-in-law, Eric, he, he encouraged me to come. Come to Canada. Long time ago, and Mr. Yesu wrote a letter. I was in Germany. Canada is good. I said, I'm going to Ghana. And so, thank you, Akonta, for your encouragement all the all the um, sister-in-laws this lady comes after mama love 
She is a deputy regional women's leader in where? Regional leader where? Virginia region. Amen. And Mama Sylvia uh -huh. Dickness, actually. My, and who else? And then the, the last baby is also here. Hallelujah. They are all here. And we have many people from Calgary. This, this, this is like a, a convention. All the way from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland, all the way to Nanaimo. So across sea to sea, we have. And we have our sister Dockers. Where is the sister Dockers? In T? Oh, okay. She flew all the way from Ghana to be with us. God bless you, sister. Amen. And all of you, anyone who, because of this program, join us, may God bless. Amen. Amen. I want to just react a little bit to what our dear IMD preach about. Yesterday, I was honored to be invited by Mr. Ayuku, the Ghana News uh, producer, the chairman of uh, Special Award. This man has been a friend. He called me about um, a week ago, said, no, we want to recognize you, your contribution in the community. So myself and Dr. Setomi Chikata were honored with special award yesterday, yesterday night. May God bless you. Now, coming back with all the certificate that I have received, all the awards, all the citations, one thing that me and my family would wish to get is certificate of approval from God. Let us take a serious introspection of the message that has come. All that we have, let us be like uh, Paul. My richest gain, I will count it by loss. One of the men of God who touched my life, but is now in heaven, is Apostle F. E. Enchi. I will not forget him. I have another brother, apart from my brother, Apostle Joseph M. G. We come from the same village. He is an apostle. Me, apostle. My engineer brother is apostle. He is apostle, minister of tra transportation. <laughs> Amen. My time is almost up. So, Scarborough, God bless you. Scarborough District, God bless you. Papa, let me thank my daughters. Abigail, Marian, Doreen, and Alexis. God bless you. And this woman, I have not met any pastor. pastor I'm not saying pastor's wife. Pastor like this woman. Sometimes I'll prepare a message and I don't, I become confused. I don't even know the, the, the theme or topic. And I will, I will subject the thing to, then she will give me. Sometimes, after her modern devotion, she said, this will help. And then I will take it and I will expand it. So some of the messages that I have preached to you, <laughs> it came from Mama Life. Very, very companion, a friend, a partner, a wife. She has made me very good. Humble. And then she has made me generous. Because she is also generous. I know I am the is here. Papa, this is my last time. You said you are pensioning me. Let's bless this woman of God. When you give name, names are very important. She is called love. I cannot, my dear will not, 
match love. Sweetheart will not match love. So, my love, God bless. This is your boy, Watermaya, and I'm here to tell you that it's about time for you to open up your subscribe to Brad John Media. I mean, you need the gospel of God in your life, and this is why you need to subscribe to this channel, man. This is your boy, Watermaya, and I'm here to tell you that it's about time for you all to subscribe to Brad John Media. I mean, you need the gospel of God in your life, and this is why you need to subscribe to this channel, man. This is your boy, Watermaya, and I'm here to tell you that it's about time for you all to subscribe to Brad John Media. I mean, you need the gospel of God in your life. And this is why exactly. you have to subscribe to this channel, man. <laughs>